Hello everyone, happy Thursday. Welcome to Theory Thursday. Last week we did rhythmic sight reading and this week we're gonna do some melodic sight reading. Um, so I'm gonna read the little tips that are on that worksheet packet um, that uh, is on Schoology. So for melodic sight reading, have a system. Whether, whether it's solfege or numbers, have a system. Stick with it and practice that. Uh, practice, practice, practice those solfege warm-ups. We did that in one of the previous weeks. Soak it all in. That'll help a lot with your sight reading. Um, I like this one. You don't have to like sight reading to be good at it. It can be hard. Things that are hard are not always fun. Be at peace with the fact that it's difficult and that it's so good for you. Eat your vegetables. They'll make you strong. Uh, memorize your key signatures. We had a video on how to do key signatures and then look for clues as to whether a melody is in a major or minor key. I'm not going to do anything with minor keys today. That can be something we do um, another time. Um, before in your little practice time, spend a tiny bit of time looking at the time signature. Count a measure or two in tempo before you start looking at the notes and the rhythms. Uh, memorize what common melodic patterns look like. For example, if Do is on a line and the next note is on the space right below it, it has to be T. If the next note after that is two spaces lower, then it has to be Sol. Once you know where the tonic, where your Do is on the staff, you should be easily able to identify any triadic movement. Once you know where Do is, you know where Mi and you know where So are. Um, Identify where those are and make sure that you always come back to those. When practicing, start by giving yourself more than 30 seconds. When you do uh, an audition for Allstate or for Honor Choir, you only get 30 seconds, but give yourself more than 30 seconds when you first start practicing. Um, in the audition, use all the time to practice. Same as the rhythmic, don't stop practicing if you think you have it and you still have more time. If you see a sharp, flat, or natural and have no idea to, what to do with it, if it's written in the sight reading um, and looks really confusing, pretend it's not there. It would be better to cut that accidental out, sing it as if it weren't an accidental, and miss one point or a half a point, then throw off the rest of it. I'll show an example of that later. All right, so now we're going to go into some practice. So later on in the packet, there's various different levels. I'm going to do one of each of the levels. So we'll go here to level zero. Right here, our key signature. I'm going to go pretty quickly through the key signatures. Three flats, our key signature is E flat major. When you have the audition, they're going to establish the key first. right here. One, two, ready, go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, so, fa, mi, re. Do, mi, so, mi. Do, re, do, ti, do. One other tip that uh, was not listed in there, um, if you come along to something and you're starting with solfege and then your brain goes, I have no idea what the next solfege is, take the solfege out until you can bring it back. It's not required in an audition to start with solfege and finish with solfege. As long as you sing the notes correct at the right time, um, you get it right. All right, I'll choose a level one. Let's do a different key signature. Two sharps are key is D major. Two. Ready, go. Do, mi, so, la, so, fa, so, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, ti, do, so, Level two, let's pick a different key signature. All right, here we've got one flat. If you remember, one flat is the key of F major. Now the 
this first note to the second note jumps down a fourth. So we're gonna go do, so, one, and it's in three, four, so I'm not gonna have four beats in a measure. One, two, and three. Do, so, do, re, mi, so. I messed that up. Do, so, do, re, mi, so, fa, mi, so, so. I might not have messed it up, but even I can make mistakes at, at sight reading. That's why we practice. All right, next level. Um, let's do a good, a uh, nice, easy C major. No sharps, no flats. One, two, ready, go. Do re do re. We had a weird ray to so that might have sounded a little bit weird, but not too bad. We'll move on level four. All right, let's try MM one sharp. We're in the key of G. Starts on do and then descends. One and two. Do ti la so ti do mi so fa mi re ti do re do. All right, two more levels. Level five starts adding the accidentals. Um, so let's see. Hit. Starts accidentals, let's use SS. So we're two sharps in the key of D major. So our accidental is over here. And if we know Do is right there, that's gonna be me. So without the accidental, that's gonna be La. But when we add the flat, it's gonna be La. So just be ready for that when I get there. One, two. Ready, go. Do, re, mi, re, mi, fa, so, fa, so, la, ti, do, so, re, so, mi, do. Now, in the tip, I said if you, um, if you see the accidental and you're like, I'm going to mess that up, It'd be better for these last two measures to sing as if this was just normal. Do, so, la, so, mi, do. You'd miss, I think, half a point um, for not getting the accidental, but then you'd for sure get that last measure, the full points for that. All right, one more, level six. Um, sometimes, not always, but sometimes it's not going to start on do. So we'll do a real easy one in the key of C, um, but it doesn't start on C. It actually starts on G. So you're gonna actually start on so. So there's your do, but it actually starts on so. So I would probably sing a major triad first. Do, mi, so, mi, do. And it's gonna start on so. And we actually have some accidentals here as well. All right, we'll try it. And it's in three, four. So, mi, do, do, ti, do. So, si, la, fa, so, do. All right, sight reading, there's a lot to it. I hope you practice a lot at it. It gets easier the more you do it. Happy Thursday, I'll see you tomorrow.